week on eTalk, we talk about fall and winter accessories. We play a game of Name That Celeb, and Midnight XY joins us in the studio. All that and more, coming up. Talkers, thanks for tuning in to eTalk, where we talk everything from LA to Elon. I'm Taylor here with Bray, Brianna, and Rose. Let's jump right into the hot gossip of the week. Okay, the first thing I want to start out with is my girl Ashley Tisdale. We mm -hmm. all know from High School Musical, she just came out with her first single in nine years. Got every reason to walk out the door, but you rather be next to me. With all the voices in my head. Oh my God, I'm so excited because oh I think God. she's an amazing singer and like we've been missing her for this long. It's been too long without her. I remember she did like a duet like cover I think. Yes. With yeah. someone. She does that a lot with her husband on her YouTube yeah. videos and, and stuff. Uh, and um, Lucas. Lucas uh, Green Deal. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Um, but she hadn't produced anything of her own for like no. a really long time. Yeah, her song's yeah. called Voices in My Head. Have you listened to it? I've listened to it. Okay. It's very good. Mm -hmm. And it's really amazing because she talks about her vulnerabilities and her insecurities that she has. Mm -hmm. And she said that her main focus for the song is just to be able to help people come out of a dark place. Mm -hmm. I think that's really special that because is. we haven't really yeah, seen that side of her mm -hmm. in a long yeah. time. Yeah, so. that's yeah, for true. sure. And it has been super long since so she's released long. anything. I know. I hope she's able to like do like an actual comeback because it can be really Really hard, yeah. Actually, especially because she's like pigeonholed into being like a child actor, you know. Right. Yeah. Like Jesse so McCartney I, is trying and failing right now. Yeah. No, yeah. my boy Jesse. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> no, but I remember when Ashley, like, I would listen to her in middle school, like her yeah, albums. Yeah, he said, she yeah. said. Yeah. Oh yes, that was a bomb. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. All right, speaking of new music, my mm -hmm. girl Ariana Grande just yes. dropped a surprise song <laughs> called Thank You Next. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's inspired by her past relationships, and she name drops all of her exes, mm -hmm. Big Sean, mm -hmm. her previous backup dancer, Ricky, Mac Miller. I didn't know she dated a dancer. Yeah, yeah. her backup dancer. His name oh. was Ricky, and then he got fired after they broke up. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway. That did not really <laughs> um, work And then, out. obviously, her ex-fiance, Pete Davidson. Mm -hmm. I am obsessed with the song. I think it's yes. so good. Yeah, it's I a comeback it's, song. Absolutely. absolutely. Comeback and I think song. it's definitely sort of a step up for her, being mm -hmm. that vulnerable and open, as you were saying about Ashley. And I love the, like, R&B sound of it. It reminds mm -hmm. me of her first album, yeah. Yours Truly, yes. a lot. And I, I love the cover art for it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's so beautiful. I know. It's so cool. And her music video for Breathe just came out which oh is god, amazing yes. I love the video. Yes. So, she looks beautiful in oh it. my gosh so amazing good. and she's just having so much fun like you can tell yeah. like she loves it and she, she always looks stunning and literally really whatever does. she does so the yeah. hats off to her is yeah. a look. it really Agreed. is such a not look. everyone can pull that off but That's true. No. my head would hurt like it would be throbbing by the oh end my gosh wait speaking of that camila cabello did you see her tweet towards yeah, ariana did. so yeah. apparently they were wifeys before she was engaged to pete basically mm. so camila was just at the emas and she had her hair in a high ponytail mm -hmm. and she was like oh my she tweeted she's like oh my god ariana how do you do this like my head hurts yeah. so badly and then she's like btw can we we be wifeys again and she was like yeah, so oh my god it hurts Aww. my head so much Aww. too and of course we can so Aww, they're that's back so together cute. so i'm happy Aww, <laughs> well speaking of child actors vanessa hudgens is out and about again she's been coming out with a few covers and stuff i know with like ashley tisdale and everything yes. but she has a movie coming out on netflix i'm not exactly sure when but it's kind of christmasy themed so i assume more towards that season i know thanksgiving's because coming up soon. yeah so it's called the princess switch and it's about mm -hmm. um she, i think she's um, a baker and she wants to go on this cooking show and she gets invited to London to do that and along the way she meets a duchess that looks exactly like her and wants to switch lives with her so uh, Vanessa Hudgens is playing both characters one with a British accent and one herself and they switch places and you kind of see what happens like with each other's like you know people like they kind of fall in love with um, it's like Monte Carlo. Yeah, yeah it's like, like, like the Monte Carlo. Exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. like Monte Carlo, except a Christmas movie. Well, I love Christmas, so yeah. I'm excited to <laughs> see that. I'm, I'm over it. It's literally yeah. not even started, and they're playing <laughs> Christmas music in Acorn, and none of it's Mariah Carey, and oh none of it's God. Chris Brown. So I'm like, okay, can we get to the good stuff? Yeah, yeah. it's just not happening. No, I, I just feel yeah. like this, like 
sort of like cliche of like two people like meet and like one has a British accent has been like so done. Does she sing in this movie though? Is I'm it like not a musical? Sure. No, I don't it's think it's a musical. See, I think I'm she's, not in she's it. Branching then. out to more it. acting like right now. You know, like her high school, like, her high school musical days are like obviously like thriving and everything, but she's kind of branching out to do more acting stuff. And with and Netflix, I, it's really exciting. I think that goes along with the fact how you're saying with Ashley Tisdale, you know, she's kind of put in this box yeah. as a child mm -hmm. actor. And, you know, Vanessa Hudgens was in the same place yeah. as her, but she yeah, did absolutely. do Broadway, and now she has mm -hmm. this movie coming out. Yeah. So maybe, you know, people are going to take her more seriously yeah. as right. an actress. Yeah. Also, because she did that movie Beastly, like, forever years ago. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. not, it was trash. And oh, no, I love it. that movie. <laughs> yeah, but, oh, like, it was super <laughs> critically, like, just, like, trash. No, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I thought yeah. the concept was really cool, and yeah. I really like her in it. You know, cause it just, mm -hmm. you know I just hope, like I said with Ashley, I hope she's able to, like, do something with Build this. Up, yeah, definitely. Right. So speaking of movies, okay, you guys know movie star Gabrielle Union. She mm -hmm. starred in um, Bring It On alongside mm. uh, Kirsten Dunst. Yeah, um, yeah, really great. So she just had a baby via surrogate oh. with her husband, Dwayne Wade. It's like it Kim is Kardashian again, <laughs> surrogate. No, but better, like so oh, much okay. better. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they're having a girl, which Aww. is a really big addition considering I think he has like three boys. So it'll be like the only baby of the house and she's a girl. So I think it's gonna be really cute and especially really great too because she had a bunch of miscarriages. Mm. And so she's really opening up more about that and just having a child like, I know people who've gone through it, and so just being able to like have a baby, you yeah. know, is just a really great special experience for them. Yeah, so. I'm that's so amazing. happy. For her. Yeah. I'm very yeah, happy. Yeah, that's amazing. Definitely. And I hope that when I'm, like, I think she's in her 40s. She is like almost yeah. 50. If and I don't she look looks that so good, good. by the yes. time I'm 50, I want a refund. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about what, I'm but I'm so I happy for her. <laughs> no. I'm so yeah, happy. That makes me so happy. Yeah. Yeah. Next up is the celebrity. Oh no, no. Stay tuned. This week's celebrity, oh no no, Ariana Grande had her first performance of her new single, Thank You Next, on the Ellen DeGeneres show. While performing the hit song, she has a little slip after stepping down from a chair. We have invented discussions. I know this is oh my god, going too fast, but this one. That slip wasn't the last mishap of the performance. After her song, she left Ellen hanging and exited behind the audience. Hi! <laughs> You were supposed to come down? Yeah, you, le you left me. I thought we were supposed to exit. No. no. Oh, my bad. I thought we were supposed to exit at the top. My bad. It's totally fine. Oh, we're, my God. We're, we're happy that you came back. Grande quickly came back once realizing she wasn't supposed to leave. Sources say Grande wasn't planning on talking to Ellen after and was caught off guard. Thanks for, uh, you've had a rough year. We all love you. We support you. And, uh, <laughs> Grande performed this single just 23 days after her breakup with Pete Davidson. That's this week's Celebrity Oh No No. Hey E-Talkers, it's Thanksgiving season! Woo! Today we're going to ask people what are they most thankful for. Let's go check out what our folks have to say. Hello E-Talkers, we're here with Liam. What are you most thankful for? I am most thankful that we have a national holiday that gives people time to reflect about their life. That's great! Thanks Liam. What are you most thankful for? I am most thankful for my mom. Why? Because she's adorable. pretty awesome and I love her a lot. Oh, that's so cute. Hello, everyone. We're here with our president, Kenneth Brown. Kenneth, what are you most thankful for? I'm thankful for a lot of things. Um, some of the things is thankful for family and friends that push me to be the best I can be. Thankful for the fact that I'm breathing and that every day I wake up is another chance to be better than yesterday. Those are some great things to be thankful for. Thank you, Kenneth. Susan, what are you most thankful for? I'm most thankful for my friends and my family who support me through my Elon journey. That's all the time you got for today, E-Talkers. Wait, Carmen Cita, what are you most thankful for? I'm thankful for my family, friends, and most of all, my E-Talk crew. What about you, Christina? Um, I have to say my family and friends and Elon for giving me opportunities like E-Talk, study abroad, and meeting tons of great people. See you guys next week. Hey eTalkers, welcome to Style Corner. I'm Bray and this is Rose, and today I'll be giving you some tips on how to pull up some great fall and winter accessories. What do you got for us? Okay, so this is one of my favorite seasons because the leaves are changing, mm -hmm. they're falling down, it's getting chilly, the humidity is finally dying down. I know, I love this season. And so it's kind of time to layer up, but mm -hmm. it's also time for earmuffs. I'm not sure oh, about I you. Oh, I love earmuffs. <laughs> I know, I love earmuffs <laughs> I mean, so cute. much. They're so cute. They can be so cute, and they're so practical because I don't know I about know. you, but my ears get so cold. Yeah, and I'm not a big fan of like the hats that have like the ear flaps. Yes. So. No, no, no. We do not like those. No. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, those can be cute, but I feel like for me, like covering my whole head is not 
something that I like to do and earmuffs made that possible where you know you can just like throw them on you can get different colors Absolutely. like I have some white ones they kind of go with everything yes and I loved when Scream Queens kind of like brought them yes. back for a moment Absolutely. I loved that yeah that character uh, she was Chanel number three Chanel number three yeah. yeah she wore them with like every everything. outfit literally even though everything. it was like took place in California and it yeah. was probably <laughs> so hot outside but you know, they can literally go with anything um, and the other thing that's very popular right now are those gloves that have the text like pad like on the tips of the fingers mm -hmm. so you can still use your phone because mm -hmm. you know like if you're texting your friends like where to meet and you're in the cold you kind of want to keep your yeah, hands exactly. warm so that makes a lot of sense but um yeah and gloves can be so clunky and like get in the way of like doing yeah. such i'm glad that they have like made them more practical yeah sure. but also mittens i love mittens like i just think cute. when i think of <laughs> yeah when i think of mittens i think of like little babies wearing them and when we wear them like i feel like they're just so practical you can get the ones with the strings in between and just yeah, like yeah, yeah. hang them up at the end of the day um but also i'm ready to play in the snow and get some of my like like hefty gloves out as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. You can get some cute like black ones or white ones at a ski shop, which is really nice. Um, but I also think that beanies are great. Yeah, no, I love beanies. They're so comfortable. Yeah, even though I don't like covering my head, like I, yeah. I feel like I'll pull they it They kind of give you like static hat hair, but I love beanies. But it's all good, yeah. That's it for today, but stay tuned for more fashion expertise. Next up, we play a fun game of the name That Celebrity. You don't want to miss this. Hey everyone, I'm Bray, here with Cami, Quinn, Taylor, and Kendall. And today we'll see how well they know their celebrities. All right, so you guys know the rules, so you're the guesser, and you're gonna tell her hints about a celebrity <laughs> in your 30 seconds, and then you guys are gonna switch. Okay. All right, got it? I'm gonna keep score on this whiteboard. Okay. 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 Bray loves her. Oh, Ariana Grande. Easy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I have a mustache. No, no. It's an awful photo. <laughs> you have a mustache. Um, <laughs> yeah, skip. Can we yeah. skip? Skip. <laughs> you know who that is. Everyone knows who that is. Is that a Kardashian? Kylie. You can't say that. I didn't say her name. Kim, Courtney, Chris Jenner. All of them. Um, yes. All right, time's up. You gotta switch. You gotta switch. Go, go. You got oh, one point. Okay. All right, guys, let's no, switch. No. Let's switch. All right, All right, All right let's so you're gonna guess, and okay. then you're gonna yeah. give her hints. All right. All right. Oh, oh, wait, no. I need to come up with a really. Oh, Jet in A Star is Born. He's in A Star is Born. He's oh, the main character. Bradley He's Cooper. Like, yes. All right. Uh, <laughs> skip, I don't have a good one. Oh, uh, <laughs> um, this is scary. Skip, I don't have a good one for that either. I don't know. I don't have a good one. All right, then skip. You skip. got it. I don't have a good one. Skip. Come on, guys, you got this. No, I need help. Um, I don't think. Oh, oh, you got this. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, um, sings uh, better now. Um, uh, Post Malone. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to sing it in my All head. All right, time is up, everybody. Oh, All right, everyone did such um, a good job. We did terrible. Um, terrible. Yeah, we yeah, did. Yeah, did. Nobody did that great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> we don't know our don't know. Yeah, don't know That's all the time we have. Up next, social media corner. Don't go anywhere. Hey, Tuckers. I'm Taylor here with Chloe, and today we're filling you in on the latest updates on your favorite social media apps. All right. So first today we have Snapchat TV, which I don't know if you've heard about it. It's a new, it's like new, really right? new. Um, but basically what Snapchat is doing is they're kind of copying Instagram's model of having like TV on their platform, which is really interesting. They're kind of taking advantage of like millennials using these apps um, for basically anything. So right here we have three examples of like what they're going to be showing. Um, they're like Snapchat originals. Um, we have Endless Summer um, and Summer McKean is actually featured in that and she's like a YouTube influencer. I love her so much. Mm -hmm. I've actually seen a few episodes from it and it's really good. It stars her yeah. and her boyfriend and then also Maddie Ziegler, which is one of her best mm -hmm. friends, was featured on one of the episodes. And it's kind of like a non-fiction format. Yeah, I heard um, that. So, but some of it is like supposedly not real either. So it's a little confusing, but her, uh -huh. and her boyfriend actually just broke up. So. That's so funny because aren't they in like a love story in this? Yeah. Like how does that work to you? So think? I wonder how that's going to be aired or if they're going to cut be, it or pretend. I bet it's going to be cut. It'll be interesting I don't to know. find but out. That's the Snapchat one. And then we also have, so next we're going to be talking about Instagram. The first part of Instagram that we have here is Instagram changed the way they tag things. So normally it would be kind of like the see-through tag and like I personally didn't like that. I, I don't think, know. Like, honestly, I don't really have that much of a preference, but this one makes it look more bold and it's yeah just I think it really stands out more you can kind of see the tags better but that was one of their recent updates and then Instagram also introduced this was actually a little while ago but they introduced Instagram TV 
um, like Snapchat where influencers on Instagram are able to um, kind of show um, their brand better. Right. I think it's crazy because when this first came out, I was like, oh my gosh, it's like Vine. That's what it reminded yeah, me right? of. So I'm like, I wonder who's going to get big off of it first. Honestly, I haven't watched it myself, but yeah, I've only know. seen a few things. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, so next we have FaceTime. So with FaceTime, with iOS 12, you're actually able to FaceTime up to 32 people at the same time. Wow, that's insane. I've always wanted to be able to do that. I know. So I'm happy that it's here. Definitely, like it's been and long it's good enough. for college students being homesick and like being able to talk to your family and friends, right. for sure. That's great. Okay, so lastly we have Twitter, which their recent update, um, they're actually introduced an anti-bullying um, campaign where they're actually able to like mute notifications. I haven't heard much about it, but. Yeah, it's really great because I think on social media, it's such a bad place, even though it can provide positivity, it's a bad yeah. place for people to just comment things and other people's posts and they don't even know them. For sure. So I really appreciate that they're like really taking the time to have this like anti-harassment and yeah. cyberbullying um, features on their app. I think this is I think much better for like, place. especially children growing up. Yes, exactly. All right, that's all we have for today. Next up, Rose tells us about all we need to know about the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade. Don't go anywhere. Hey eTalkers, I'm Rose here with Caitlin and Avery, and today we'll tell you all about the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. So I don't know about you guys, but this is one of my favorite events of the year. I love Thanksgiving. I think it's like the most special time and like the most special dinner of all. And I always get super early to watch it because, you know, I live across the coast, so can't go, but um, I always get up anyway. So I'm really looking forward to this year. I hear like there's going to be a lot of new stuff, but there's also like classic mm. balloons like Charlie Brown yeah. I'm really excited for. I always love the Charlie Brown one too. Yeah. yeah. It's just a classic. Yeah. Yeah. And you always see with the yellow shirt. Mm -hmm. um, but there's also a new balloon. Um, it's going to be the Grinch um, from the Dr. Seuss movie, mm -hmm. and I feel like he's going to have like a sack with like his dog mm -hmm. or something like on his back. I do love the classic balloons, but I feel mm -hmm. like it's always nice to add in like the new fresh balloons to like keep. I feel like he keeps younger kids excited about yeah. Like, the new things. Yeah, there's always like a Power Ranger mm -hmm. one, you know, keep like the younger kids involved, and mm -hmm. so something they can yeah. spot and. Like they know that they've seen it on TV before mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah, well, um, I'm definitely most excited about the Grinch one because mm -hmm. I just like anything that has to do, all the floats have to do with Christmas and stuff yeah. because yeah. I'm the type of person that doesn't really like Thanksgiving. I'd rather skip mm -hmm. right to Christmas <laughs> besides the parade I love, but yeah. so I like anything that has to do with Christmas. Right, yeah, there yeah. is a lot of stuff involved with yeah. that. Like I know um, in the past there have been a lot of artists who perform mm -hmm. um, Christmas songs, mm -hmm. um, and this year I know that Ashley Tisdale is yes, performing. I'm so excited for that. Most likely her new song, um, but I also know that John Legend's performing mm -hmm. and Pentatonix, and they do have a lot of yeah. Christmas stuff. I feel like Pentatonix yeah. is really becoming like a Christmas classic. Yes. Yeah. They've performed at the Tree Lighting and Rockefeller Center mm -hmm. the past few years, too. Yeah. And they were actually just on the Wicked special, too, so they're really oh, becoming yeah. like a holiday they're kind of like classic. that. Yeah. yeah, I completely agree. Yeah, I'm really excited, especially like because they're kind of mixing in some new stuff like ba um, Bozzy. Bozzy, mm -hmm. that's yeah. who I'm most excited to see because yeah. I really want him to sing mine, which oh, is like yeah. was my yeah, favorite yeah. song for so long. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's such. I feel like it's so repetitive now, but yeah. I mean I, I like still it. Love yeah. it. It's, yeah. it's really it's really cool. Yeah, and there's also performances from Broadway shows. That's what I'm. I love. Yeah, and King Kong is gonna do a performance, mm -hmm. which I'm really excited to see because I know it's like. This newer, new, yeah. yeah, but also Mean Girls and Dear Evan Hansen. Yeah, I've uh -huh. seen both those plays and I love the music. Okay. And the performers are really good for both, as yeah. you could assume. Do you have any idea of like what song they might do? No, I don't, you know, um, Waving Through Windows, always like a Dear Evan Hansen classic, mm -hmm. so I assume they could do that unless right. they like decide to switch it up. Yeah. Um, and then like floats wise, I'm excited to see who's on who, like which float, mm -hmm. yeah. but I'm really excited they have like a Christmas countdown float this yeah. year. Yeah, I'm really excited for and that. I always like the ice skating one, I hope they do that one this yeah. year. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's the Snoopy one. Um, Classic. They always end with Santa. Signifying the Christmas yeah. I know, that's what I yeah. love. <laughs> it's going to be super exciting to see again. Yeah. That's all the time we have for now. Next up, Carmen Sita tells us how to keep healthy during the holiday season. Stay tuned. Hey eTalkers, welcome to We Talk Health. I'm Carmen Sita and this is Cammie. And today we're gonna show you how to stay away from bloating during Thanksgiving break. So Cammie, what do you got for us today? Well, I definitely get bloated during Thanksgiving. I always Everyone. feel so gross after I eat. So I have a few tips to help you guys Ooh, what do you got not for stay us? bloated. So peppermint capsules, they're very um, really? good for you because- I've never heard of it. They're like essential oils kind uh -huh. of in like a pill form. So you take it and it's supposed to line the intestine. And then this way the food will go down and you'll digest it, which is Ooh. very good for you. That's good. Also, my uh -huh. favorite way to 
get rid of all of that bloating is um, massaging your stomach. Massaging? Really? So, yeah, so just like go around in a circle. Like all that do a little dance. Is. It's like fun. <laughs> and just put a little pressure and it's supposed to help you like digest your mm. food. So make you feel better, you know? How about you? Like give me some Okay, so detox. what I did for bloating, like I'm always bloated. Like the food here in America, oh my God. It's, yeah, it's weird. It's I weird, know. guys. Yeah. So what I do is like I mainly drink green tea every single time like every single me meal then what i do is like uh you know chia seeds yes so what i do is like Love i that. put them in water and it's like a jelly like sort of oh. like type like a jelly it's it's weird it's good it's and it makes you like you. lose weight and everything stay bloated um, you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah it's okay to, you know yeah <laughs> okay guys but stay away from, <laughs> from weird food. Oh. Next up, we have a musical performance. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the studio, eTalkers. This week, we have Alex and Sam, also known as Midnight XY. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. Thank, Thank you for having, having us. us. Yes. We're so excited to watch you guys perform. But first, we want to know all about you guys. So how did you guys even meet in the first place? So basically, we are in a fundamentals of music class together okay. um, within the first couple of days. It's actually a very humorous story. I was very intimidated by her. Oh my gosh. Um, but after the second class, she saw that I was leaving and I drove to Arts West. So she asked me for a ride to CFA because she had a class afterwards uh, at Center for the Arts. And I assumed that she was talking about Chick-fil-A. <laughs> so um, as I was driving her to go get a chicken sandwich, she was like, where are we going? And I was like, we're going to Chick-fil-A. She's yeah, like, Yeah, no. I would have been fine with that. Yeah. Yeah. I like Chick-fil-A. Absolutely. She's like, no, we're going to Center for the Arts. And oh. I was like, oh. And then so after that, we became the closest of friends. Yes. Um, I discovered that she's also a music major, I'm, uh, music production, and she's music performance. So we went over just to play around a little bit, just jam on some guitars, com uh, keyboards. And then we saw Limelight Records. And we were originally auditioning as solo artists. Um, and then I auditioned, she auditioned, and they kind of Simon Cowell us in a way, like One Direction, Fifth Harmony. Yes. And they asked us to sing together, and then we got signed as a duo, and now we're Midnight XY. So did you guys just have like a matter of minutes to just put together like a song? Yeah, yeah. it was so how it worked. We had been practicing a couple songs together, and then we were like, oh, should we go audition separately or together? Mm -hmm. And we're like, okay, we'll just go separately. Yeah. We don't one of us doesn't get in we'll just work with each other and absolutely. stuff but yeah uh, they're like oh have her come in so yeah, I came in and went absolutely. on and it worked out for the best yes, yeah we sang great. um yes. say won't let go by James Arch Ar awesome. James Arthur which is what we're gonna perform great today song okay so how did you guys like get into music is it something you've always done your entire life or did you have family influence or yeah well personally I've been making music ever since I was like six I was I wrote my first song and music has always been an escape for me. You know, I was bullied a lot in middle school and high school, so whenever I couldn't turn to the students, I'd always turn to music and just keep on practicing. And it was kind of my outlet in a way, and I feel like it really brought me to where I am now and kind of helped me determine who I am as a person, who I am as an artist. That's so powerful. Yes, and I've been playing piano since I was three, and um, my parents were the type of parents to put me in everything, so I had like dance and cheerleading and gymnastics and all that sorts of thing. And then I had to pick, and so I picked music, and I realized that music is my passion, what I really love doing, and what I want to do for like the rest of my life. So yeah, yeah. So what's your like biggest dream that you want to come out of this? Really, like what's your biggest goal <laughs> in so life? So basically, <laughs> um, we're actually thinking about making this uh, post college, post limelight thing. You know, I've. I found my best threat, best friend so far, um, and you know my music partner. And I feel like we're gonna be collaborating, you know, like in the future. I can see us pursuing Midnight X Y as a career. That's great. And also, everyone, look up for their new song that's coming out. Yes. It's gonna be so exciting. We're so happy yeah. for you guys. That's all the time we have for this week. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Before we go, enjoy performance of Midnight X Y. Until next time, this is E Talk. I met you in the dark, you lit me up You made me feel as though I was enough We danced the night away, we drank too much I held your hair back when you were throwing up then you smiled over your shoulder For a minute I was stone cold sober I pulled you closer to my chest 
and you asked me to stay over. I said I already told you. I